Hi, I'm Emma from F&P Interiors. Today we're going to show you the Famille 2 book from the Scandinavian design house Sandberg. So we'll have a quick flip through the book and then I'm going to do a scheme around one of the stripes back. Some of these you've already seen, um, you're already sampling them. Uh, great Morris-esque design style, really lovely floral with animals, spots, stripes. Uh, again, that one lovely Eden paper, which I think is going to be very popular. Really pretty, soft, leafy design. Um, we've got this lovely Della, which again has been proving really, really popular. And the Ava, which has also been very, very popular. We've done a lot of sampling with that since we've had it on the website. Lovely to see these lifestyles with the um, Ava in that soft sort of green grey. This is dear, this little one. It's got sort of all sorts of lovely little animals on it. I think that's really pretty. Uh, there's the, um, I think it's called Moa. I think that's uh, in the charcoal. Again, that lovely leaf bell. My favourite Della, just sweet. A uh, lovely stripe, which we'll go through. Again, this Morris, and that's quite a Morrissey colour, isn't it? And the shell design. Della. So here you've got Ava in the dark, really pretty, this soft blush pink, really, really pretty. Little Otis Spot, Ava, and then this lovely one. And here we've got this great uh, stripe, which um, if this was around when Jack Wills was popular, we'd have sold lots of it because uh, everybody was always asking us if we had a stripe of these colours. Uh, here they've got also a couple of murals, so they've used that some many of the designs from the Della, and they've made created a mural. Remember, murals most of them can be um, custom sized, so they can be made to fit your wall, which would be fantastic. Uh, so there's that, that one here. There's um, this lovely one, Amelia Ilk, um, and Wilton, which is my favourite, um, which is a really fun with the palm trees and the toucans and the flamingos. So I thought we'd put a scheme together around this rather lovely soft teal stripe. I want the room to be light and fresh. So I've chosen here an Osborne and Little fabric. It's a lovely sheer, it's called Pompero. And I think it would be a really, really lovely complement to the wallpaper. If you weren't so keen on that and you wanted something, again, keeping it light, un unlined, we have got just a plain cream linen which would also look lovely just imagine floaty curtains on a pole blowing in the wind glorious if you wanted something a little heavier and that didn't suit the room or you wanted something that you'd be warmer in the winter there's this lovely fabric from Christopher Farr called Tide and I think that would also it's a really gentle zigzag that you've got coming out throughout that absolutely beautiful a beautiful linen so then on to the furnishings. So imagining you have a sofa, a couple of chairs, then we could have some throws, maybe a stool um, or a little couple of little puffs would be quite nice. So we've got this lovely Azero fabric from number nine. I just adore this fabric. I think it's great. It's quite a statement, but that would just really enrich the room completely. So I would put that on my sofa and then I, I think texture is what you really need in this room to keep the warmth while keeping it but keeping it fresh. So I've chosen a rather lovely velvet from Nina Campbell. It's got, it's almost like a teddy bear. It's really, really got a lovely, lovely fresh feel. Sorry, warm feel about it. Um, and I think you can see yourself snuggling up and reading your book in that chair next to that sofa. Really, really nice. Then to add a bit of accent, as I say, maybe on a stool or another small chair, um, another texture, a velvet, would just add a little bit more depth to the whole room as well. And then lastly, if you have, uh, let's say, a footstool or something, we've got another texture. This is a linwood fabric. Um, it's uh, quite a new one and it's got a stain guard and everything else so that would look really really nice. And 
oh, I did find this, which is just gorgeous, and metaphors. Imagine having a few cushions on your sofa in that. And then lastly, we've got this lovely uh, weaver green cushion. So something like that brought in uh, just to, to work on the, maybe one of the chairs um, or again on the sofa, just to add a little bit of design, a little bit of pattern into the room. I hope you like my scheme.